I can guarantee you've never had Wahoo like this. Today we're making some Wahoo, baby. Let's get it. Hard angle behind that pec fin. It's good stuff. Not now, bad. Not bad. <laughs> now flip, flip your knife around and separate it down. You're gonna go under oh, yeah. this one? Uh, uh, under that pelvic fin. Beautiful. We're gonna wipe that blood off. We don't want that on our meat. No bueno. No bueno. All right. Now, you're gonna start right here. Okay. Beautiful. Now flip your knife around and hit the bottom half of it. Beautiful. Now that you have that opening, you can feel the spine right there. Yep. You're gonna rest your knife on that spine and then Go pull up. towards the head. Yep. See where we're at right now. So now you're gonna use the tip of your knife just, just barely on, to the top the bones, of the spine. The so, whole thing? Yep, just to the top. So when you're doing this cut, what you yep. want, okay. if you're like this, you're gonna hit the wrong angle. Okay. But if your knife is pushing on the skeleton, you're gonna hit the right angle. Just the tip. Yep. Beautiful. Now tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up and you're gonna separate the connection of pin bones making to the ribs. Okay. You don't want your knife floating. No, up. You want it resting on the spine, then the blade slightly up like that. Okay. A little lower, right here. Just the tip of the knife, angle your blade slightly up. There you go, crunch through those ribs. Cool. There you go, let's see. Beautiful. Okay. So now you can ride on top of the rib. Beautiful. All right, so now that you did that, you're gonna rest your knife right on top of those rib bones and slide down. Boom. All right, let's separate the tail. Woo! Not bad. For your first time ever flaying a Wahoo, that's pretty dang good. So what we're gonna do, since it was our first time ever filleting a Wahoo, <laughs> we've got quite a bit of meat left on that skeleton. That's what we're gonna use. The meat that runs along the spine of fish is often the most tender part. So if you've ever seen me using a spoon to scrape the meat off of a skeleton, that's some of the best part. And since this is your first time playing Wahoo, you we left have a, plenty of it. We have plenty of it. <laughs> Here we have some sour cream, uh, a nice product that I like to use, especially with the tomato. You wanna have uh, a little, uh, how can I see it? A little creaminess into it. It's gonna uh, really bring the flavors to, to, to a different level. So we'll start straight with sour cream into the bowl. A couple of spoons. You can eyeball it. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we have a nice lemon. We're gonna do half a lemon zest. And then we're gonna cut the lemon and use some juice. We want half a lemon juice in there. That's it. And with this, we're gonna use the little spoon just to mix it all. And this as a base, it's always good with the fish. Sour cream goes almost with anything. Yeah, it's yeah. super good. So this one is done, we'll keep it aside. And then here, you know what, you're gonna help me actually. All right, let's get it. So we have a tomato grater, fresh tomatoes. It, you don't see it often, the grated tomato. We don't wanna use the skin of the tomato. Okay. We just want the inside, super okay. juicy, super fragrant. Are you gonna peel it first? No, straight like this. We're gonna start grating it and you'll see the skin will, will stay on the tomato and you'll get just oh, the, sick. you see, you'll just get the pulp of the tomato. So we'll do maybe one or two tomatoes. On the meanwhile, I'm gonna work on some garlic. Do you cook often? Yeah, man, I have a passionate home cook. Nice. I wouldn't dare to say I'm a chef. A chef is a <laughs> career, but I like to cook and feed myself. Perfect, I think we're good. Here we have a beautiful tomato passata, it's just the pulp, very good. So passata it's, means it's pulp? Passata, it means like the, yeah, just the pulp of the tomato with the juice. You see, it's super, super nice, very fresh. You speak 60 languages, what yeah. language is passata? passata? Passata is Italian, so okay. it's like the tomato passata, so no, no skin, just the pulp of the fresh tomato. So Got it. this right here. And this, we're gonna hit it with some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, it can be a little generous. And then we're gonna grate the garlic. We don't want a lot of garlic, just a little touch of garlic. Just a little let's bit. Do, let's do maybe like half of it. And that's it. 
Half a clove. Yeah, That's half it. a clove. And the garlic, the, the tomato is very acidic, so it's gonna cook the garlic a little bit. And that's okay. what, when we're gonna put it on the fish, it's gonna give the fish a little bit of, it's gonna cook a little bit the fish. Yeah, that's, yeah. You want the acidity, but you, wanna, you don't wanna hit it with so, a lemon juice right away because you don't get that freshness of the fish. When you wanna eat a fish raw, if you hit it with the lemon juice and the salt, it cooks the fish right away. So, I tell customers <laughs> this all the time. When you've got yeah. fish this fresh, you put lemon on before cooking it, yeah. it tastes like a lemon. But if you cook it first, then I'm, add the lemon afterwards, sure. you've got two components complementing each other you, instead of one hiding the other. 100%. You try to avoid the, the, the lemon, the acidity as, as much as you can, because if you want to taste the fish, you, you just... Uh, well, this one, the level of acidity, it's, it's very low compared yeah, to a, a lemon. Bit. So now we're going to hit it with some salt. That's it. Having good salt is so important, you Very guys. Very important, yeah. <laughs> And this is the za'atar that I was talking to you about. It's very good, nice spice blend, and it works great with the fish. It's very popular in Mediterranean cuisine. They use it a lot, and it actually goes well with anything. Sick. You can add a little bit more. And here we have the beautiful, beautiful tomato paste. There you go. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's banging, dude. Easy. Simple. <laughs> Easy and simple, boom. Now we have the sour cream, we have the tomato. We're gonna work on the serrano peppers. So these, we're gonna try to slice them very, very thin. Just want a little heat. The prep is done. Prep is done. You can get a, a gourmet meal hey. <laughs> out of it. So we'll start with the sour cream in the middle of the plate. One of the best parts about yeah. eating raw fish is to, you know. Yeah, you the, can get, actually you can get a, a a plate that goes in the freezer, you take it out straight at the freezer, very cold, because when you eat raw fish, you want it to be cold. Cold, yeah. yeah. So you can do that at home. A fine layer of the sour cream. Beautiful. Let's get the fish. This looks like dinner. <laughs> now when it comes to slicing the meat off of this, it is super easy. We're gonna start from the center and scoop out. So you see this white line? Yes. That's sinew, that's gonna be chewy. So what we're gonna do is you can either start from here and scoop this way or start from here and scoop that way, but that line is your cutoff. What we want is this trip right here and right here. The best part of the Wahoo. The best part of the Wahoo. So remember when I taught you to yeah. rest your knife on the skeleton and pull towards the head? Yeah. You actually started great. You can see that, that's yeah. a good start. And then your knife lifted. Lifted as you went. This, so I, I should have put it on an angle. It, it's no man. I'll, you just leave pressure there okay, and you okay, just okay. go straight through that. So you actually broke through that when you made that initial line. So you were already over that. It's just what happens when people are doing long motions is they start good and then their knife starts to rise so a little bit. So your knife needs to be as so tight wanna, as possible. You, wanna be, you, wanna be, you don't want to like this, yeah. but you want to just have a firm pressure down while you're doing it. But anyways, chef. Thank you. So this one we said we start from here and we go, yep. we go up. Those are perfect Ooh. thicknesses. <laughs> so we'll say that you left all that meat on the bone on purpose. We did it on purpose. That was course. completely on purpose. Look at that. Got this long, beautiful strip. You can even make like Wahoo Carpaccio. Very nice. Well, when, when you eat fish raw, you try to get Try not to, uh, to have it too thick. It depends on the fish. If you want to have it a little thicker. Usually when you do tuna, you go a little thicker. But some fish like this, especially white fish, I like it a little bit thin. Well, let's do this one too. All right, so now, now we can you hit just it. take your knife yep, straight up and down right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now what we're we gonna do, we're gonna make our cuts right here. Straight on the fish. Boom. No cleaner surface than the fish itself. That is perfection. That's beautiful. You can, see can I give it. it a taste? Absolutely. Hit it with some salt. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. Just like butter. Yeah. Refreshing, bright. Wow. Melts in your mouth. Very, very good. So these these little slices, we're just gonna put them on top like this. Nothing goes to waste. No, and we, we scrape these skeletons clean. 
if one of my guys doesn't do a good enough job filleting the fish, I get lunch. <laughs> you should hire me then. <laughs> there you go, slide on down. Nice, satisfying, smooth motions. <laughs> I think we're good to go. That's beautiful. All right, what's next, chef? So now we have the beautiful fish uh, on top of the sour cream. The most important thing is the salt. A lot of people don't salt enough the fish, especially when it's raw. You really need that nice salt, salty, flaky salt, whatever salt. As soon as it's a good salt, you want to put a nice amount in the fish, especially when you do crude oil, tartars, stuff like that. If it's missing salt, sometimes it's blend and we don't really taste the fish. Yeah, Fish absolutely. comes from the salt water, so you need to give it back that salt. Let's give it back then. So we're gonna hit it with some nice salt and we can be a little generous with the salt. We're not gonna be shy. I love that. Fish comes from salt water, yeah, so we gotta you, give, you give it back. back <laughs> you give it back the salt. Beautiful. So once we have the salt, now we're gonna put this beautiful tomato on top of each slice. It's like you're dressing. You're gonna dress the fish and you want something different. You know, sometimes we eat boring stuff. Yeah, man, I can confidently say yeah. I've never had a career <laughs> like this. I think we have enough. And now we're gonna add the beautiful pepper on top of each slice of fish so for some nice color. It needs to be beautiful. A little bit of olive oil. That's it. Looks like the Mediterranean. Woo, that looks banging, <laughs> dude. That looks banging. And to finish, we're gonna add some nice texture. So this is um, a pita bread, like pita bread chips okay. seasoned. And these usually, you can use tortillas, you can use whatever, just something crunchy. Yeah. With the fish, you're gonna have like, a, the sour cream is very smooth, so you wanna add some, some texture into it. So we'll come and we'll, and we'll add a little bit of this nice crispy bread on top. Our nice, beautiful Wahoo. It took us 10 minutes hey. and it's ready to eat. I am so hyped on this, you guys. <laughs> like, I can't wait any longer. I'm digging in. Getting Let's a dig in. piece of that chip, a little bit of everything in one bite. A little bit of everything. That's hey. the perfect bite. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Bro. Wow. If you knew how many times I've eaten Wahoo, <laughs> you'd be blown away that I've never tried it this way. Easy and simple. Easy and simple. Gotta say, my man, I'm gonna be doing this again. Thank you so much. Well, I can mm. tell you that this is the first and the best Wahoo I ever had. <laughs> I can't believe you've never had Wahoo I've never before. Never had Wahoo before, no. Bro. But now, when you try Wahoo from somewhere else, you're gonna be like, bro, this doesn't taste like Wahoo. Wahoo because you're eating fish that's hours out of the water. It's beautiful. You guys, make sure to subscribe to Just Another Cook. Thank you guys for watching and have a killer day. Later.